cleanup efforts in Dade City. They really came to a screeching halt this afternoon as that storm system rolled in. Mobile Home Park was trying to get back to normal after winds tore apart their community, damaging several homes. That's right. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella live in Dade City where people are still shaken up out there. Lauren? Guys, can you imagine this? listening to the winds ripping apart your roof. That was the reality for the people in this home. They were terrified last night. You can see some of that uh, rubber tarping that was holding some of their roof in had to be cut off today by public works crews. And now the people in this neighborhood say they're just grateful to be alive. This afternoon, more storms rolled in, hitting country air estates again, driving people back inside. Radar is indicating there's a very strong line of thunderstorms in that cell. This comes a little more than 12 hours after storms damaged more than 60 homes. A storm so powerful, it blew a piece of metal roof high up into a tree. It was scary because you don't know what for sure what it's going to happen. Early this morning, sleeping families had no idea what was happening. Well, I heard this loud rumbling noise. They came out into the dark to look around. I've been through hurricanes out here and nothing like this and that's when it sounded like a freight train comes through the park when daylight hit even more neighbors ventured outside not just to check on their homes but the well-being of their friends and neighbors they hauled away debris and provided shelter for those whose homes were damaged people that live in here they know everybody and they're going to help each other out when they can. Lily and Corey teared up at the thought of her neighbors listening to the storm tear apart their home and their roof was blowing away and all they did was cuddle together. This afternoon that home is damaged beyond repair, but Lillian says homes can be replaced. They still have um, each other. They have the contents of their home. She says people on the other hand cannot. They're saved and I feel very blessed for them. And again, back out here live tonight, just to give you an idea of how strong these winds are. Look at it completely tore down this fence. And uh, in that story that we just showed you, there was a piece of metal roofing that was up there in the tree. Public work crews, it took them hours to remove it. It is finally down and they finally cleared it out of this area, trying to make it safe for the residents here. And again, the Red Cross will be out to help the families who end up needing it. Reporting live in Dade City tonight, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.